walking along that lake. I don't know how to describe it, but you know, it makes you still feel a little bit smaller. <laughs> this great big mother nature, you know, when it's raining, the first drop is that ripple. After 10 minutes, that ripple's gone and you are part of the lake. So I am part of this park. I'm Tess Google, and I am a park ranger at Coon Fort County Park. Also go by Ranger Tess. <laughs> As a kid, we were outdoors a lot. We did a lot of fishing, did a lot of camping, and it was good family time, and we did do some traveling. So we went out to Yellowstone, and seeing a, a park ranger on a horse just blew my mind. I was like eight. I thought, that's your job? to go around and check on campers on a horse. Um, yeah, I want to do that. I guess it just kind of fit right into my, my lifestyle. Building that relationship with the campers is it's, it's something I didn't expect, being a park ranger. Uh, I always felt like they look at you as somebody that works here, not somebody that they want to hang out with. It just seems to happen, you know, they, they warm up to you, they ask you questions about different things, they want to know you know, what improvements we've made, they actually suggest quite a few improvements and some that we've done. So it's, it's really nice to get that, uh, that kind of relationship, you know. Knowing Betty and how she had taken care of the park from the beginning of being a campground, for her to leave it to me, I feel a sense of obligation and responsibility when somebody leaves you something so nice and asks you to take care of it and you make a promise. You gotta stick with it. So many of us are involved in different organizations like American Daughters of Conservation, uh, National Wild Turkey Federation, all kinds of different conservationist groups so that we can help make sure that habitat is still there, so that we make sure that those animals are still there. You know, being part of the food chain means that you have a responsibility to control the predators, to make sure that you put a good shot on an animal, you don't want it to suffer. We have a big respect for uh, animals, really. Seeing kids in the park, it just uh, warms my heart. You know, they're getting out there and they're experiencing things that maybe they haven't before. And that fact that they're that interested makes me feel really good about the future. And I, I like being able to uh, know that I personally can help future generations in getting outdoors some more. To be involved in something that people enjoy, you're not the number one person here. You're not anything more than the park itself. Mother Nature around you. It's much more than what you are as a person.